Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where you have an exciting job opportunity to be someone's full-time slave. Today's episode is sponsored by Dragon City. Dragon City is a free-to-play mobile game that's available on all devices, where you can collect thousands of different dragons with different elements and rarities to build your own dragon empire. You get to collect food, gold, and gems to grow your city and become stronger. One of the neat things about the game is that you can breed together two different dragons to get new dragon eggs and then hatch and feed your little dragons to evolve them. Then, you train up your dragons and teach them new attacks to make them more powerful. The game has PvP fights and arena fights where you can fight your friends, or you can join an alliance to interact with other dragon masters. The game is constantly growing and evolving with daily prizes, weekly events, and unlockable rewards. If you're interested, you can download the game for free by clicking the link in the description or by scanning the QR code. Not only will you be supporting my channel, but you'll also get a special free starter pack of 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the Flame Knight Dragon. OP is selling personalized Easter gnomes for $5 each. So, I'd like to order four, please. Yes, ma'am. Any color preference for any of them? I do take payment up front. I can do Facebook Pay, Venmo, or Cash App. The pickup address is blank, and they'll be ready within a week. Okay, jeez, hold up. I don't want to butcher these names, but I have no idea how to pronounce these. Tajane in gray, Sevea in pink, Tania in green, and Leia another girl color, and I'm not paying up front, sorry. I don't care what other people have done, but I'm not going to give you my kids' names to make them something personalized and not pay for it. This isn't the first time that I've ordered them stuff with their names on it. Unfortunately, I've been stood up multiple times, and I no longer personalize anything without payment. I understand your distrust, though. I gave you my home address. I apologize. Well, you are trying to stereotype me by what others have done. And what do you mean? You're the one who's not trusting anyone off of what other people have done. That's not right. No other business is going to do something for free without payment. I apologize. That's how I run my small business. It's stated in my post. WTF do you mean for free? Man, get the F off my messenger because I am not asking you to do stuff for free and your post says nothing about paying up front. So get on somewhere and good luck because you're just another Karen. You're in my inbox, actually. You're not God. And who are you to judge everyone off of another's actions? B-word. Have a great day. Yeah, you too, Mrs. Joke. Wow, okay. She was definitely, definitely not going to pay you OP. Either just stiff you entirely, or just wait until after you created the custom item and then try to haggle the price down because what else are you going to do with a customized item that you can't sell to anyone else? Our next Reddit post is from Sky Moogle. I work at a fast food restaurant. I've seen my fair share of choosing beggars, and often they're not too bad. They just want something extra, or they want something that we don't have anymore and they get mad about it. Like I said, they're typically not too bad, but this one guy really takes the cake. We offer coffee at a reduced price for people over 65 years old. That's just a little something extra that we like to do for the seniors. This one guy, let's call him John Doe, came in one day and he was standing behind one of these seniors. And he heard about the reduced price for coffee. John Doe was then surprised when he had to pay the full price. Mind you, John Doe is nowhere near 65 years old. I explained to him why this was and how it works. He went off about how ridiculous it was that he had to pay full price because I'm a hard-working citizen and these elderly people do nothing else and sit around the entire day. Meanwhile, the senior citizen was still just standing there while John Doe went on this angry speech with some colorful language thrown in there as well. It was almost embarrassing. Then John Doe threatened to come back with a lawyer and said that he would sue us. I'm sure that I'll win this because this is discrimination, John Doe said. But then off he went with his coffee and his newspaper. It took a while, but eventually he came back without his lawyer. And again, he went on this rant how unfair it was that he had to pay the full price. John Doe explained how he went to another restaurant, which was also owned by the same franchise as mine, and he got his coffee for the reduced price there. 
I once again explain to him that I can't do that because those are simply the rules that I have to follow. He told me that he knew the supervisor of our restaurants and my supervisor had promised him that he would always get his coffee at the reduced price. John Doe said that next time he would have talked to my supervisor and my supervisor would have put me in my place. I'm not an idiot. So after this happened and upper management came in for the day, I went to them and explained the situation. They said, no, he has to pay full price. He's not 65. Luck would have it that my supervisor also came in on that same day and I told him about John Doe. The supervisor said, I don't give coffee at a reduced price to non-seniors and even if I did, it would have been a one-time deal. A few months went by without ever seeing John Doe. Then John Doe showed his face again at our place yesterday. Before even trying to order a coffee, he tried to recruit a senior to buy him a coffee so that he would get it at a reduced price. The senior said he would, so the senior ordered himself a coffee and an extra coffee as well. I noticed this, and I let the senior have his coffee at the reduced price, but the other coffee at the full price. So John Doe begrudgingly gave the senior extra cash so he could cover the entire cost. Afterwards, when John Doe left, I went to the senior and I explained the situation and how John Doe had been acting towards us. The senior already had a feeling that something was going on because he's a regular customer and he knows that I'm normally quite friendly. Today, John Doe showed up again and once again he tried to recruit the same senior to buy him coffee. The senior explained to him that he wouldn't do that and told him why. So John Doe was mad and demanded to speak to me. When I showed up at the front, he once again went on a rant about how he knew the supervisor and he always got his coffee at a reduced price at the other place. And how ridiculous this is now that the other place is temporarily closed that he has to pay full price at our restaurant. I told him that I spoke to my upper management and my supervisor and they both told me that he had to pay the full price. Then he just exploded. You're calling me a liar? I will now go to the other place and I'll tell them what happened here and when I come back, you better watch yourself. Somehow, he still bought his coffee. But by this time, I was just done with him. I once again told my upper management what happened and how the guy had been acting. They were firm and said, he has to pay the full price and if he doesn't like it and goes off again, then you can kick him out. But here's the big twist. It turns out that at the other restaurant, he does get his coffee at a reduced price. However, the current upper management there doesn't know how or why it's done because it's happened before they were there. So when I heard this, I felt my stomach drop. I knew that he would be back tomorrow to yell at me again and they were going to tell me that I had to give it to him at a reduced price. But no, I had it wrong. My supervisor told us that we should not give him coffee at the reduced price. Furthermore, the other restaurant is now going to also refuse to give it to him at the reduced price as well. So now he has to pay full price everywhere. Down in the comments, we have this post from Criticism Shot. Ugh, I'm a baker and we have a guy come in every couple of weeks. He buys a loaf of sourdough and without fail he asks the price and then whines that it's too much and it's not real sourdough and that it's better in Italy. I live and work in Australia. It's about a half hour lecture every time. Like, mate, no one cares. You're welcome to go to Italy and buy some if it's so much better, but at this shop, this is what we have and this is what it costs so you can either buy it or not. No one cares and we've all heard this several times before. He always buys the loaf anyway and it's never gained him a thing. I don't understand why he does it. Posted to Craigslist. $2,000 for a three bedroom, 1800 square foot, lovely home for rent during summer months. We're looking for someone to rent our lovely house and foster parent our long-haired miniature dachshund, Charlie, in East Blank for approximately two months this summer, from June 5th to August 12th. Our ideal renter is a responsible single, couple, or small family who will take scrupulous care of our home and who will enjoy looking after the chickens and quail with regular feeding and watering and the garden with watering, harvesting, and a little weeding when necessary. Moving is one of the most miserable experiences. Who would want to move only to have to move out two months later? And $2,000 rent with a chore list on top of that? Who would take that? Tinder profile. 
His name is A minus for some reason. He's a 38 year old straight man who's six foot tall. He doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, doesn't do marijuana, he doesn't have pets, and he's looking for women. My self summary. Listen, I'm gonna cut to the chase. I'm probably not what you're after. I'm just looking for someone intelligent to spoon and shoot the shit with. Maybe that sounds sketchy or needy or whatever, but that's about as open as I care to be. No offense. For the record, no, I don't have a wife who hates me or a girlfriend I'm cheating on or anything like that. I know that means 99% of the women on here are basically done reading, and I don't blame you because you're probably after something more meaningful or long-lasting. I get that. If you're somehow crazy enough that this might appeal to you, then awesome, but I'm not holding my breath. If you want to read the best profile on here, you can keep going. You've been warned. Hey, so you probably looked at a bunch of other douchebag profiles, right? And this is the part where I'm supposed to impress you so I stand out from the rest, right? I'm supposed to grab your attention by telling you how I'm into mountain climbing. I'm not. Or how I once saved an old lady from a burning car. I never have. Or how I can speak 14 different languages. I can't. Well, guess what? I'm not that interesting. If I was, they would have put me in beer commercials or something. Wanna know what I can do? I can have an intelligent conversation with you and not mention my penis or your boobs. I know, I know, it's difficult, but I can do it. I can also spell, I can type in complete sentences, and I can even take a picture of myself with my shirt on. Oh, that's still not enough to impress yet? God, what a diva. Okay, fine. Since you're still playing along, I'll tell you a bit more about myself. Here are some things that I have. A job, a car, a college degree, my own bank account, and all my teeth. Here are some things I don't have. A girlfriend or wife, a baby mama, a criminal record, or a drug or alcohol problem. Yay! Sleeping in, mismatched bra and panties, burning hot showers, milk and cookies, walking around in underwear, accents. Nay, wet bath towels, teenage pregnancy, anything country except reverse cowgirl, tobacco, slutty Halloween costumes, too much makeup, stinky pets, Pics of you boozing it up, skanking it up, flipping the bird, flipping the double bird, pics of your kids, or pics of you after one of those stupid color runs or warrior dashes or tough mutters or whatever. I don't want to see your attempts at subtle but desperate shots of your cleavage. I don't want to see your social media. No, goddammit, I do not want your Instagram. Mushrooms, the word swag, the word foodie. Pretty much anyone born between 1990 and 2000. Now, doesn't that make me more unique than like 99% of the guys you've come across? Yes. Yes, it does. Listen, I'm not for everybody. I'm not super attractive. I'm not ripped. I don't like going out. And I'm not going to spend my entire bank account on a fancy handbag for you. I'm not your Prince Charming or your soulmate or whatever other stupid cliche you've heard before. We're not going to have a midnight passionate love affair, and we're not going to get married, and we might not even get lunch together, even though I could totally afford to buy. But if you can get past all that, then maybe we can kill some time together, because even though I come off like a total dick, I'm actually a pretty nice guy. Maybe even too nice. And besides, if you're still reading, there's probably something wrong with you. And if there's probably something wrong with you, that means we'll probably get along. Now, quit stalling and say hello, damn it! Why did this guy write his name as A minus? Because he's looking more like an F minus. This guy basically just wrote an angry essay about all the douchebags on this dating app and then ended it with, But actually, I'm a really nice guy. And the best thing about me is I don't have to talk about boobs or penises, but also I'll mention my favorite sex position. <laughs> I mean, I will say that at least in his defense, he's honest about how he has literally nothing to offer. Looking for a reliable babysitter. Hello, I'm looking for a babysitter to watch my 14-month-old son from Monday to Thursday, alternating Friday to Saturday from the hours of 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You'll need to travel to my home in Farakaway, Queens, so it would probably be best that you drive. I need you to be reliable. 
Also, you have to be good at cleaning because he takes a few naps throughout the day, so you'd be cleaning during this time. I'm paying $300 off the books to start. If interested, please leave a message with your work experience. By the way, if you're wondering the math on this, this comes out to $7 an hour. By the way, this is in New York where the minimum wage is almost double that. You've received a new email. Hello, my name is Blank. I'm a wrestler and I love your content. I want to support you in my upcoming tournament, so can you send me any merchandise to represent the brand? I would take anything you have to offer. Hi Choosing Beggar, thanks for the note. If you really want to support us, then please consider buying some gear. We're a small family owned company and every little bit helps. Thanks. Way to be a jersey. All I was asking for was a sticker at the most, but you have to be a weasel. Thanks, but your company service is worse than your sucky company is. I'm not sure what it means to be called a jersey, but I can only assume that it's not a good thing in your opinion. I am sorry that the fact that we sell products for money offends you. That definitely wasn't my intention. The fact that you went from loving our brand and offering to support us to feeling that we're a sucky company with bad service in the span of just a few hours is very disappointing. And for that, I sincerely apologize. I wish you the best of luck in your wrestling career. P.S. I'd really like to get some unbiased feedback on how this interaction went to see how we can better serve our customers. So I'm going to post it on Reddit so we can get feedback from our audience. I'll let you know how that turns out. Thanks. That was r slash choosing beggars and if you like this content, check out my second channel where I publish additional reddit content. Also, check out my podcast where I publish the exact same episodes. Remember to download Dragon City for free by clicking the link in the description or by scanning the QR code. My code will get you 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the Flame Knight Dragon. Also, by downloading the game, you'll be supporting my channel, so I'd really appreciate it.